Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading. This is for Friday the 22nd of June. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck for today's reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of. We have the Queen of Rods, the Six of Pentacles again, and the Star. Now the Queen of Rods is a court card. Rods is wands or uh, staves, and it is the element of fire. You can see that there are leaves growing out of this rod, and it's something that has life in it, and it's growing, and it's transforming itself into something that it's ultimately going to be, like a big tree somewhere. Uh, she's holding a sunflower, always after the sun, always after positivity. You can see the yellow in the card. This is a happy woman. She's living her life purpose. She's creative. She's happy about what she's doing. And she feels safe and protected. And she's not just um, an artist or, you know, a wandering minstrel or something. She's a queen. She's been recognized by the society that she uh, lives in. And she has been celebrated by that society. That's why she's the queen. And she's well known for her accomplishments. So she's, you know, she's worked her way up to this position of power and influence that she's got. And it's through really being authentic and true to herself and just wanting to spread a little joy in the world. Something as innocent as that, I want to spread a little joy in the world, can turn into a massive movement because a little joy is really what everyone needs and will always be receptive to. The next card is, so if you're a um, creative person, if you're a writer, if you're an artist, a painter, uh, an illustrator, a singer, a musician, a performer, a dancer, this is your day. The Queen of Rods is your patron, patron saint, so to speak. She is overseeing all of these creative, expressive things that you're doing. So you're going to be blessed in all those areas. The Six of Pentacles is the ups and down card. Um, it's You can see the scales here. We've had this card recently, and there's something about finding balance within your own life. And rather than having these huge highs and lows, having some sort of balance would work much better. And... Um, this is a money lender. He's rich. He's got more than enough money. And there are these poor people who need money. So he's, he's lending the money. They'll have to repay that with interest. And he always makes sure his books are balanced. But then life can turn things around and he can lose his fortune and he can be the one holding his hand out. And there'll be someone else who's lending money. So it's the endless cycle and the wheel of Sometimes you're up in life, sometimes you're down in life. There are always people who will have more than you. There will always be people who have less than you. And it's this it's this cycle that's really you can that becomes very apparent when you look at money. It also becomes very apparent when you look at uh class or socioeconomic things. It's it it's a very defining thing in our culture, in our world. But it's basically just an energy and it's something that we've constructed. Money is just an energy you, we exchange for goods. It's, it's, it, it's not tangible. It's an idea. So the point of this card really today, what it's saying to me is liberating yourself from whatever you think holds you back. I was born on the wrong side of the tracks or I, um, you know, I was... Um, I don't want anyone to know about my upbringing or I'm not clever enough or I'm not good enough or all of these things. You have an opportunity here today to really add riches to your life, to really get yourself to a position of being up, being successful, being up there by using your creativity. And rather than worrying about, will this book be a failure or is everyone going to hate this painting? No one, no one is ever going to buy my greetings cards. So I might as well not bother. You know, that kind of attitude, the non-constructive attitude will never get you anywhere. And sometimes, despite meditating and trying to maintain a constructive frame of mind, sometimes we're still negative and we can't just kick ourselves out of that 
zone. But today you're not in that zone. You've got the queen of rods with you. And the queen of rods says, let's get busy. Let's get to work and let's have some fun doing this creative stuff. Because this is what I'm born to do. This is my life purpose. And this is what fills me with energy and power and life and joy and opportunity. So there's something likely that you can create today in a tangible physical sense. And that is going to have a positive effect on your finances. Finally, we have the star. The star is a major arcana card. So this is a court card and this is a minor arcana card. So these are temporary kind of influences. The major arcana cards are much heavier, more significant themes. So this is really the theme of the day and these two cards qualify this big theme. The star is uh, hope for the future. It's being vulnerable and honest with yourself letting go of the pain of the past and accepting the pain of the past. I think, you know, we all have um, certain, some of us have dreams in life and they all, all come true. Um, other people have millions of dreams and none of them ever come true. And most of us are somewhere in the middle. Some, you know, some areas of our life work and other areas of our lives don't work. By the way, this is just what I've seen in my experience. The people who are most enlightened and the people who are very attuned with the higher power, all of the areas of their life tend to work. I've seen that. So health and um, family and relationships and money and it just and feeling rooted, it all just clicks into place the more you connect, connected you are with the higher power. So by letting go of the things that hurt us or that haven't worked, for instance, I'm no good at relationships or I'm no good at making money. Let go of that fear, pour it out like it's in a jug of water and just say, there it is. I'm letting go of it, but I know more will come up inside of me. And it's something that I mustn't just know about myself. It's something that I have to feel about myself and it's something I need to accept and I really need to get authentic with myself and accept that there are certain things about me which are not conducive to my own happiness. I have to accept that there are certain things in all of our personalities that make us difficult in some way. So by accepting those, first of all, recognizing them, accepting them is the next best thing to do because the only way you can change it you can change a character trait is through loving yourself and saying okay you tend to be let's just use an example you tend to be somewhat um uh brash and uh you you talk a lot okay let's say that's the problem that you just talk over people and you interrupt people all the time and no one can handle it you're not gonna get rid of that by saying oh bad person, you've spoken again. You see, you went to that dinner party and you couldn't keep your gulp shut and now everyone hates you. That is not the way to change something. It's about loving yourself, saying, "I, you know, people have said this to me. It has affected my social network. I have fewer friends than I did a couple of years ago. So I'm going to accept that about myself and embrace it and love myself for it. And I'm sure there's an area of life where that would be very useful because that's something that's a part of you just because it doesn't work in one area of your life doesn't mean it's a bad quality that loud mouthed brashness would work really well up on stage so maybe you're supposed to be a performer and then you can really let that side of yourself out in your work or in your performance and you can be less uh, brash and loud in your personal relationships so that's this this process that the star is involved with and she's always involved in letting go and trying to become better so she's striving really to be the best person she can be and that's such a that's a really admir admirable i can't say the word but it's an admirable um, goal to set for yourself to become the best version you can be so she's being honest because she's being honest she's free she has hope for the future and she can let her true light shine So it's a wonderful day. These two cards connect very well because this woman has done the healing work and she's letting her light shine. 
So what we're saying is that you're pretty heavy on the um, I'm ready to get to work, I'm functioning, I'm not emotionally overwhelmed by things, I can't go into work today because I'm just so, uh, I'm such an emotional mess. That is very unlikely to happen today. And instead, you're going to feel very creative and very, uh, you're going to look forward to what you're doing. And like I said earlier, by really not censoring yourself and creating and being productive today, you can really achieve something, produce something, or even get the idea for it together today in view to make it a reality in a couple of weeks or a month. So a short story, a painting, a sculpture, something like that. Uh, then that's going to help you in terms of your uh, physical situation. The other gift here today that you've got is you've got the ability to heal yourself and to heal other people. So we've had this watery energy uh, for a lot of the week and the veil is kind of thin at the moment between the other side and, and the real physical world. So if you're a healer, a Reiki healer, a pranic healer, a, a doctor or a nurse or a physician or um, someone who do, does communicative healing. So if you're an intuitive reader or a medium or a clairvoyant, you'll really be able to tune into the watery side of yourself. You'll see the problems, but you can either look to resolve those and heal those in yourself, or you can dive down past them and really get to the inspirational, you know, um, higher purpose kind of realm where all knowledge is available to you. And that's a better way of doing it. Because if you ask the universe to help you in the healing process, it's going to be much quicker and more effective. One and six is seven. And what's this? 15, 16, 17. 17 and seven is 24. Two and four is six. And six is a temporary opportunity to create something fabulous today or to have the idea to create something fabulous that's going to really um, uplift you and support you in terms of your finances and in terms of the wealth and prosperity and abundance that you have. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to audio reading. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.